Claudia Spranger. I'm from Lisnav Shipyard. I'm the head of uh, environment here at the, the shipyard. As you can see, we are a maintenance and repair yard, and we are in a natural reserve of the Sad Westuri. We have a, an extra responsibility. The activity has a, a, some impacts on, on the environment. It is an industrial activity. So we, we have to think and to improve uh, the way we work. We are uh, certified according to uh, ISO 14001. ISO is an uh, international standard to improve our environmental practices. We have to, to analyze all the activity, all the, the workshops, and then see what we can improve to try to reduce our emissions. We have a, a lot of waste. We have to, to make sure that all is handled correctly. The, the noise that we make to, to, to the environment, we have to make an assessment of, the, of that, uh, that noise. Here in our activity, we are uh, um, isolated fr from the, the municipality. We capture the, the water for, for our consumption and we, we treat every uh, effluent that we, we produce. So we have to treat everything that we deliver to, to the river. When we, we restarted the, the activity here in 2001, uh, one of the, the, the major uh, issues was the, the environmental uh, regulations for the treatment of, of the water, the management of, of the waste. In this case, Lislava have two industrial wastewater plants. One for normal wastewater that we have in our houses. We introduce oxygen in the water so the bacteria can degrade the carbonic form, so we cannot receive anything that's hazard to microorganisms like bacteria. All industrial wastewater goes to the, the another plant. It's a chemical and physical treatment plant. It's a unit proper to the Lisnav activity. There we have the hydrolift. It's three dogs that have pumps in the place and that pump the, that wastewater directly to our tanks. When the water comes for treatment, they screen all the small objects that come in with the water and they are screened and compacted here. So a lot of the work we do is to precipitate metals like iron, uh, copper, uh, zinc. Another contamination is chemical co contamination from the paints, from oils. We have a continuous measure of pH and uh, B, uh, COD and there are the pumps for the lime to elevate the pH of the water. And the pumps for the sulfate aluminium for the precipitation of metal is the very efficient. Here we have the water that we remove from the sludge and the, the sludge uh, partially it's a uh, recyclate sent to a uh, Authorized place. It can be agricultural, can be compostation, can be a, a landfill. Here we are in the dock 32, where we can dock Swiss Max vessels. Right now, we have this this vessel that had a uh, old treatment that was done by uh, grit blasting. This is a technology that we have been using for several years, but we intend in the future to change for uh, hydroblasting. Regarding the, the grit blasting, the grit creates with impact with the hull, creates a amount of, the, of dust. Because of the dust, we have uh, many costs on the equipment, especially on the cranes. That dust must be collected manually with the equipment and then after all, all this grid is collected to a park and then it will go to a disposal. At the end, we sell it to the cement industry. The grid plastic has a lot of dust 
and we try to, to contain it in, in our uh, installation. Uh, we have the, the nets, we have uh, water curtains to, to try to, to contain that dust. Now we are implementing the hydroblasting using water instead of uh, grid. With the hydroblasting we have several advantages. One of these advantages is the decrease of the manpower required to do this job. We can do the work in these windy days and it's no, no danger for the people. Another important point is that we also expect to have more 24 hours available for other tasks. We also estimate that we might have a cost saving in disposal of the residues. In the future, when we will use the hydroblasting, this park will no longer uh, exist. And of course, we have environmental advantages like saving water, because uh, during hydroblasting we do not need to, to do the washing of the vessel uh, at, at the end, before painting. Hydroblasting system to use uh, robots with a vacuum system, so all the water and all the particles of the paint are collected and stays in a containerized uh, unit. And when we finish the, all the hydroblasting works, the dock will stay much more cleaner. So, of course, we have to remove all the equipment and prepare the dock for the, the flooding. We are in a, a bay that is a historic bay for this uh, sector, industry of oysters. In the 50 and 60 years, there was a lot of production. Then it was, uh, they came down the production in, in this zone. In the 60s, there was, uh, I think, two, two things. One thing, uh, it was the, the use of TBT in the, in, the, in the industry for boats protection. And also uh, some disease on the oysters that arrived in, in that, uh, that period. Uh, it was a very difficult period and now the, the thing gets better. This is one activity with uh, risks associated. We do analysis to the heavy metals, uh, E. coli, uh, salmonellas, and uh, that's it. They do a lot of new uh, legislation that protect the, the, the water and the, the quality of the water. So we expect even better in the future, but it's always fragile. I think all the industries and all the, the players uh, must have that the alert system. It's, it's always uh, very important so that we, we know what, what is happening. So maybe we can uh, make some measures if there is a, a problem. So for me, it is very important, uh, that type of, of alert. Marine uh, has the ability to support us because it has the experience of, of other, other yards, of uh, the North American yards, and uh, it can help us to, to lead the way by giving us the opportunity to see what uh, some other yards are doing. It has been very good for me to see what was uh, being doing uh, in other yards, talking with other, with other specialists in the area, I could find the, the solution. It was uh, some simple solutions that can be used here also. Challenges ahead, that's for sure. Uh, well, starting uh, by the fact that this shipyard is 50 years old. That had to change a lot. Between Green Marine Europe and Liznav, I think the support can go both ways. Twelve years ago, we tried to implement um, robotic water blasting 
We were proactive, tried in the right time to get rid of the grid blasting and all, all the negative aspects attached to it. But unfortunately, uh, the reaction from the clients was not so favorable. So we had to abandon that technology. But now uh, the world has changed. So now needs the acceptance from everybody. Green Marine can definitely be a partner in this aspect. Of course, we are willing to have the support and the knowledge uh, from uh, Green Marines. I mean, we're not talking about only shipyards. I mean, all the shipping industry in all in all in all the all the variables, uh, including the, the the policies of the of the ship owners. Being recognized is, is very important. It's not only having the ISO 14001 certification, it's much more than that. Of course, in the many other situations, we can have uh, Green Marines help, that's for sure.